seems like seems like everywhere you go you say it twice in a row how about that everything's organic nowadays from clothing to food and yes now even wine welcome christine meredith from whole foods i love walking thank around you, your david. store thank you david we uh, appreciate it i like going through the wine department too because i see a lot of things that i don't totally understand or see often and we keep talking about organic wines and what separates organic wines from what we see generally? Well, there are two main categories. Um, two I brought today are made with organically grown grapes. What that means is that they don't use any pesticides in the vineyards. And then there is USDA certified organic or NSA, which means no sulfite added. And that basically means that it is a pure product in the bottle with no sulfites. Does it uh, change the taste at all? It can. Um, sulfites are a natural preservative, um, so those wines don't have as much longevity, mm -hmm. but they do have a real nice, bright freshness, um, and it's a very clean product. Your so. people talk all the time about they go to Europe and they say, I don't get a headache drinking the wine there because they don't have the sulfites, they don't have this, they don't have that. What's your, what's your take on that? Honestly, I think it is the sulfites, but mostly um, a lot of European wines are lower in alcohol. Mm -hmm. And I think it's simply due to that. Um, you're right. drinking a couple of glasses and you're actually consuming less alcohol. We're also walking around a lot. They have a culture of eating, having long dinners. Um, right. I think that all contributes. They slow down, everything goes a little slower. It's a little bit slower. So, so which one at least you want to pour in a glass? What, what's this thing here? Now this is the Kiklos. It's a Mosca Filetto from Greece. Could you say that again, please? Mosca Filetto. Woo! <laughs> this is from southern Greece, from the Peloponnesus region. Um, it's very, very aromatic. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of floral tones. Really fun, bright. It for smells the summer. pretty. It's something different to bring to your uh, to your party this summer. This this is like so. It smells so fruity. Is, would fruit be good with this? Absolutely. Um, you can do it with a fruit plate. You can do it with some fresh cheeses like a goat cheese. Mm -hmm. um, or even we've prepared today a shrimp and mango ceviche. So this is pretty well. We, we want to talk about these wines. I want to talk about that also. Yes. What would be the best wine to go with a ceviche, you think? I would either choose the Mosca Filetto or I also brought another fun one to say, Gruner Veltliner from Austria. Oh, so a lot of times people would look at that label and they th would think it's a sweet wine, but this isn't, is it? It's not a sweet wine. It has a lot of fruit to mm -hmm. the nose and I really get a lot of Granny Smith apple out of it. So it's crisp and clean and lean, um, but ultimately dry on the finish. So, so let's try crisp. It. What would that? What would you like that? You like that with this, or the fruit, or the cheese, huh? Absolutely. See, or on its own. It's got a little uh, fizz to it, doesn't it? It's got it? a touch of effervescence, which makes it again really nice for summer, but also a good cocktail wine. It doesn't have to be paired well with food, um, but it can stand alone as an aperitif. You know, I walk through your store and I go past all the fruit first, then the wine department. So after you get to the wine department, you have to go back into the fruit department to figure out what you want to go with your wine, right? It, we're kind of situated in the middle, but yes, we like to give you options to go both ways. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> what are what are these babies right here called? <laughs> these are um, red velvet apricots. <laughs> um, they're not plums, they look like plums, but it's an actually uh, an heirloom um, kind of uh, apricot, and they just come out during this season. They're beautiful. They are nice. And what's wrong with your cheese here? It's got a, a line down the middle. <laughs> that is an ash center. Um, that's our Humboldt Fog. It's a goat cheese mm -hmm. um, made with a, an ash center. So it's so a little ages. bluish in flavor? It's not. Actually, um, the ash imparts really no flavor, mm -hmm. um, or it doesn't have that blue cheese flavor to it, but it just has a really nice, fresh, tangy goat flavor. So every time you see that color, don't be thinking it's, it's blue cheese. It's but this, this is a blue here, though, huh? It is. That is from Oregon. That's the Rogue Oregon Blue, one of our favorite blue cheeses. What makes it your favorite? It's creamy. It has a little bit of a tang to it. Um, it's not overwhelmingly... Um, blue in mm -hmm. flavor, so it kind of works for all palates. And uh, I see people get so excited when the fresh figs come up, and they're out now. They are. They're out now. Go to our stores, enjoy them while they're fresh. This is the season. Um, it really is the time of year for them, and they're just clean. Um, they've got a really beautiful fruity taste to them, and, and we love them. Okay, the ceviche. How do you, how do you cook the ceviche? The ceviche is actually cooked, um, it's done raw and the juices from the citrus that's added to it mm -hmm. is what actually cooks the fish. Um, so it's a very fresh, no heat involved uh, method of cooking. Christy Capel says she doesn't like fish, she's going to have to taste this because I'll tell you it is really good. <laughs> and to pick your, your favorite red real quick, we only have a few seconds. The Pinot Noir, this is my pick for the summer. Um, it's jammy, juicy, a lot of fresh 
blackberry and raspberry notes to it. Um, just a beautiful lush wine, great with barbecue. Okay, so my advice is when you go to Whole Foods, have a lot of time in your schedule because you go there, talk to a lot of people who are knowledgeable, know what's going on. They can help you pick out the wine, pick up the, uh, the pairings, and it's just terrific. Absolutely. We'll see you in our store. I, I'll be there this afternoon. Love it. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you. much. Thank yes, you. Yes, appreciate it. Hey, coming up.